what's up guys today I'm showing you how to install the touch mouse server on your computer as well as the touch mouse app on your iPhone or iPod touch and after I show you this I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review of what I think about it so first we're gonna go ahead and go into our internet and type in this website right here www.logitech.com slash touch mouse so go ahead and hit enter and once we're here it's gonna redirect to, to a different link as you can see up here and basically go ahead and choose your OS so I'm running Windows 7, go ahead and choose whichever one you're running, and we'll go from there. Alright, so go ahead and choose Select File. The one I'm choosing is 32-bit. Um, most users are going to choose this one, other users are going to use the 64-bit. If you don't know if you're running the 64-bit or 32-bit, go ahead and choose 32-bit because it works on any, um, basically any bit of computer. So go ahead and just choose, choose the 32-bit. Alright, so then now we have the just the extra information, you know, the download instructions and everything like that. And we also have a little screenshot of what it's going to look like. So go ahead and hit download software. <coughs> and once that's done, go ahead and hit run. And then once it's done downloading, there's a little box that's going to come up showing you um, basically whether or not you would like to run this program. So all we're going to go ahead and do is hit yes for that as you can see right there and basically this is our setup wizard so go ahead and hit next hit I agree and go ahead and hit install and it's just gonna go ahead and install the whole program so I've already had it installed so I don't need to do that you guys go ahead and install it and once it's done basically you're gonna see something like this right here so go ahead and open this up and you get something like this so it shows your computer name computer IP address your iPad or iPhone connection status, iPad or iPhone IP address, and your bone show registration status. So the only thing you need from here is this, your computer IP address. Usually, um, you won't need to enter your computer IP address often. Um, I have my DSL cable running straight into my router, or I mean my Cat45. So that's uh, basically connected to my router, so um, I need to enter this every single time. If you guys are connected straight uh, to the internet, wi internet wirelessly, then you shouldn't need to um, enter your IP address every single time. But if it doesn't work wirelessly, just go ahead and enter your IP address. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to our computer and see what, or I'm sorry, our iPhone and see what happens. Okay, so now back on our phone, we're going to go ahead and open up the App Store, which is right here for me. And then from here, basically, we're going to go to the search at the bottom. And type in the logic type touch mouse. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> and you can see it right there. So we're going to go ahead and hit that one. And then I already have it installed, as you can see. But basically, this is a program we need. So go ahead and install that. And then once that's done, um, go ahead and open it up and once you open it up this is basically how it starts and this is where i mean uh where you're supposed to enter the ip address so go ahead and just enter yours if you know yours mine is right there as you can see and go ahead and hit enter and it should automatically connect and you should see something like this so this is now connected to my um computer and we'll go ahead and check it out uh, to see how it works Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a demo of how it works. So we'll go ahead and make sure that it's connected on our computer. And as you can see, it works very well. Um, it's There's no lag at all. It's smooth. It works perfectly fine. And as you, you can see right there, as I clicked, it, the mouse actually makes a sound also. So I like that. It, re it really, you know, adds to the effect of there actually being a mouse without you know any extra wires or anything else and what I really like about this app is that it actually um, also has a keyboard which I found can be very helpful so let's go ahead and show you what that looks like here and go ahead and open up the keyboard right there and let's send you guys a little message of something oh. There you go. So as you can see right there, you know, it shows you a little bit of a preview up here. And as well as you can see on the screen, it shows, you know, the message I just typed. What I didn't like as much is that it 
it uh your message basically what you just typed uh, disappears from up here while whatever you're typing still stays on the screen so I mean it's a little bit you know you gotta make sure you you see what you're typing otherwise you don't know if you delete it or not so we'll just go ahead and delete that and as you can we'll go ahead and close this and just check this out a little more go ahead and close that let's go um, let's go here so as you can see very responsive works perfectly fine um, even the center works. So we're gonna oh, so we'll open that. Hit the center, and you can even scroll. So that's a really nice feature. And I believe that's about it, guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, please comment, and I'll see you guys later this week. Peace out.